That's one of the ways that we can cross to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Is we define the blessing of God carnally. Because every time we think we're lacking in some blessing, we're going to want to know how to get it. And then if we think where we're at, we're not getting it, we're going to want to start looking other places to try to find it and get it, mm -hmm. to see what we can do to get it. And that's why you find people jumping from here to there. This book, that book, the other book, this book, that guy, what this person says, that person says, what they think, what they, instead of just sitting in the message of grace, they're tossed to and fro trying to bring satisfaction to their souls from getting things from the world. And then they'll implement any system they can. Like I said about the tithing thing. None of us would have been confused about tithing money if we had all been taught that the blessing of God was glory and immortality. That's right. Mm -hmm. The promise of the Spirit yeah. that brings forth glory and immortality. None of us would have been confused about whether we could be blessed from some tithing money system. Because we would have said, how can I have glory and immortality by giving money? Where's the guy who's still alive from doing that? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, even the world says if you keep doing the same thing and you expect different results, you're insane. Mm -hmm. And I have family members as well. And